Dr. Carr, and what I'd like to talk about today is uh, what is a bioidentical hormone? That term is, you know, used rather loosely and I think is misunderstood by a lot. So very strictly speaking, a bioidentical hormone is a hormone that has the same exact chemical structure as what has always been in the human body. Uh, and that's an important concept because hormones r interact with very specific receptors inside the cells. And uh, if there's not a complete fit, then the optimal uh, expression of that interaction doesn't occur. For example, if it's a hair cell or skin cell or brain or whatnot, all of these uh, tissues in our body need to be stimulated by hormones in order to grow or to secrete whatever substances th that they normally do. And when hormones become deficient, they don't do that as well. Uh, and what happens is when we use non-bioidentical hormones, for example, Premarin, which in the 80s was the you know, number one prescribed uh, medication, um, which comes from horse's urine, there is not that specific interaction with the receptors. So the one problem in using non-bioidentical hormones is that you don't have a, a complete, secure binding to the appropriate receptor. The other problem you see with hormones derived from other sources uh, that are not bioidentical is that the immune system can recognize these hormones as not self. In other words, whenever something hits our bloodstream, our immune system, which is in constant surveillance, is trying to figure out if this is a foreign object or a foreign entity that it has to react against. And uh, for some of these substances, uh, there's quite an immune response. And we used to see that a lot uh, when I did my residency and medical school training. Um, pork insulin was still the main insulin being used. And what we would see is although the insulin would lower the sugar levels, um, the effect over time became uh, lessened because of the immune response against the insulin. So the body saw that this was not human insulin, sort of something foreign, and eventually in many patients would work to destroy it. And when bioidentical insulin came on the scene, doctors didn't hesitate to get rid of the pork insulin and use bioidentical insulin because then those problems went away. Um, unfortunately, the same transition has not taken effect with other hormones, so-called sex hormones, testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, adrenal hormones, growth hormone, all of these today we have uh, in bioidentical form, yet all too often drugs are still prescribed. Um, and there's a, there are many reasons for that, but we're going to go into that in the future. But the main concept I want people to understand today is that if you become deficient in a hormone and you have symptoms of those deficiencies uh, validated by blood testing, uh, they should be optimized. Those levels should be brought back up using bioidentical hormones. Uh, it, it seems like in the uh, medical and the lay press, hormone replacement therapy, as it's commonly referred to, is a choice thrown out to women. Like, well, you could do this. Uh, you know, we don't do that with anything else in the human body that becomes deficient. If somebody develops a low potassium, we don't say, well, you could replace the potassium. No, we know that you need a certain level of potassium for optimal health. So we, we replenish it. And it's the same concept with hormones. Now, the, 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 so the whole idea is that if you're going to uh, really enjoy good health, uh, you've got to have adequate levels of hormones. And the only hormones to use are bioidentical hormones those hormones that have the same chemical structure what our body has always produced. I'm talking about even in utero, many of these hormones. Testosterone is produced when we're in our, our mother's uterus developing. So it's nothing foreign uh, to, to our body. It's, it's very necessary for all cells. Uh, virtually every cell in our body has receptors for these hormones. So to say that developing a deficiency whether it's due to age or hysterectomy or other causes, is acceptable is, is really against optimal physiology. And uh, most people suffer the consequences of hormone depletion that is not treated over time. Okay, so the take-home message today is if you have a hormone deficiency, symptoms of a validated by blood testing, then you should have your hormones optimized using 
bioidentical hormones, again, chemically identical to the hormones that the human body has always produced.